you done now? Broadcasting live from Houston, Texas, and around the world. And around the world. TV host, best-selling author, and radio personality Brad Gilmore brings you a collection of conversations with stars from movies. Mark Wahlberg. Hey, how are you? The legendary Mr. Christopher Lloyd. Christopher, how are we doing? I'm doing good. Great <laughs> introduction. Television. Jimmy Fallon joins us this morning. Jimmy, how you doing, my friend? Good morning. Thank you so much, Brad, for having me. I appreciate this, bud. Kelly Ripa. Brad, thank you for having me. Comedy. Jay Leno joins us. Jay, how you doing? Hey, Brad, what's going on? Gabriel Fluffy Iglesias. Good morning. Music. Lola Monroe. Thank you. Thank you for having me. The legendary frontman of ACDC, Brian Johnson, joins us right now. Brian, how you doing? Good morning, Brad. What looking at you give me funny lad. Grammy Award winner Maya joins us. How are you? And more. And more. This is, is the, the collection. collection. Now your host, host, the, the boat, boat, Brad, Brad Gilmore. Gilmore. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of The Collection. My name is, of course, the boat Brad Gilmore, and I uh, thank you. Thank you for another year. Can you believe it? We're doing another one of these years together? It's incredible. Um, I, if you can't hear in my voice, I had quite the weekend. I was out there in the Fort Lauderdale area uh, doing some shows out there. Lost my voice in a two-day event. Then I had to fly back to Houston land and go uh, film the small part in a really awesome project um, that I'm privileged to be a part of. And, you know, didn't get into about one o'clock in the morning. And then I had to get up early and do a series of interviews, one of which you're about to hear. But before I get to today's guest and kind of a little backstory on, on this particular podcast, I do want to say... If you like the collection, if you like listening to these interviews, I know they're very bingeable. They're very easy to kind of get through. Um, they're not super long conversations. Some of them might be, but they're not super long by design so that you can enjoy these in, in a bingeable fashion. If you like the show, make sure you give us five stars on your favorite podcast app. However you are listening to the show right now, go into it. Give us a rating, a review. Give us some love, if you will, if you will. Like he said before, um, he being Dusty Rhodes. Um, so go ahead and do that and make sure you check out some of my other podcasts. Back from the Future is the name of the book. Back to the Future, the podcast is the name of the podcast. You can go check those out if you're a fan of 1985 classic movies like Back to the Future. We talk all about them. Season 10 is about to roll out. The Collection with Brad Gilmore is this show. You have Clue the Movie podcast where me and Jeff Smith break down Clue the Movie one minute at a time. He's got a new documentary coming out about the movie called Who Done It, a Clue documentary. It's available on cluedoc.com. Uh, you can check out Booker T and myself in the Hall of Fame, which we bring to you multiple times a week on the radio and in podcast form. And uh, is that it? I think that's it for now. There's more coming, but you know, I can only do so much. So today on the show, we have a special guest, probably one of the most special guests. The first interview I did in the new year, I know we had Danya Ramirez on but um, I did that interview at the end of 2022. The first 2023 interview I did, William Shatner. William Shatner called in to the show. Um, and, and and look, this is a little background. Normally when they call in, um, the publicist is like, hey, you got 15 minutes, you got 10 minutes, you got eight minutes, you got 20 minutes, you got however long, right? And then they call in and I'll say, hey, how you doing? And then they'll say, hey, yeah, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. And I say, well, I really appreciate this. And then I say, all right, in three, two, and we go into it. And I got the three, two from Booker T, by the way. He goes, actually, Booker would go, and three. And you're supposed to count down two, one in your head. That was the first thing he ever taught me in production. But when William Shatner calls in, so I have the publicist on the line, and they say, okay, hey, Brad, here's Will. But before they said that, they said, hey, we finished a little early, so you'll have more time with him. I said, oh, that's great. We're supposed to have like 10 minutes, and then with that extra time, I could almost go 20 with him. And I was like, okay, this is awesome. So they call, and he said, okay, you got more time with him, and uh, you know, enjoy. And they say, here's William. And then William Shatner comes on, and I say, hey, Will, thanks for doing this. And then, boom, he's right into interview mode. The man's 91. He didn't have time to lose, <laughs> okay? He's right into interview mode, and he's talking about 
Sugarland or Sugarland, as we say it in Texas, and all the venues he's going to be at and the, and the show that he's doing. And then he went ahead and ended the interview early. And I say this because I loved it. I loved it. It was so Bill Shatner. You know, he's like, I'm 91. I'm a megastar. Everybody on the planet knows who I am. And uh, I only have a few minutes left. Who knows, man? He's Look, I'm not making a joke about his age, but he's 91 years old. The man knows how precious time can be. And he's like, I know I'm early, but I'm doing my eight minutes, my 10 minutes, and then I'm out of here. <laughs> so <laughs> we really appreciate William Shatter. And I literally say that out of love because I just loved how he did it. Very old school Hollywood. I'm here early. Um, that means I'm going to get out early. And uh, here's my outline. See you later. <laughs> so here we are. Without further ado, you know him as Captain Kirk, TJ Hooker, Denny Crane from the series Boston Legal. He's been a guest star on some of your favorite television shows and in films like Dodgeball or in shows like Psych. He's popped up all over the place. And today on the show, he's talking about his live tour where they show the Wrath of Khan, Star Trek II, and then he goes out there and does a bit of improv for about an hour. So here is the incomparable Captain Kirk, Mr. William Shatner. Brad, I have William Shatner here. Good morning, Mr. Shatner. How are you? Good morning, Brad. How are you doing, sir? I am so well. What about yourself? I am am blessed. I'm blessed for another day. Well, I, I hope that applies to both of us. I think that it does, sir. I, I'll, take, I'll, take that, I'll take that blessing as well. So I'm coming to town. I'm coming to Sugarland uh, on, uh, on uh, the uh, 14th. Is that Saturday? Yes. yes. Yeah, you're coming uh, to the Smart I, I, Financial I, I'm Center. I'm coming to Sugarland uh, at the Financial Center, uh, uh, Center on uh, January 14th. And with their seats available, and uh, I want to urge your audience to to come on down and visit with me. We're going to be playing the film, uh, The Wrath of Khan. It's uh, got, uh, it's been refurbished, brighter colors, better sound, and on the big screen. And then lo and behold, I'll come out after the movie and talk to the audience for about an hour about about anything, but especially about the movie. It's a very popular and well-made movie, by the way, and uh, it's a, a pleasure to be associated with it. And... Uh, the audience and I, after the movie, have a great time together. So what a wonderful evening in the theater. You see this wonderful movie, and then uh, the character, this uh, actor that's been in the movie, me, comes out and uh, interacts with the audience. It's an unusual and entertaining evening. Well, you know what? Yes, you're going to be in Sugarland, the Houston area at the Smart Financial Center, on the 14th, tickets still available. You'll be in Austin the next night at the Long Center. You can also check him out if you're in the Midland, Odessa area in Lubbock. William Shatner is coming to Texas. How are the Texas crowds for you? Do you enjoy Texas? Texas is a great entertaining. Texas is a great entertaining crowd. The crowds in Texas want to be entertained, and I want to entertain them. And I've been to Texas many times, toured many of the cities, been to many of the of the places. Uh, not so long ago, I was uh, uh, in, uh, well, now I've forgotten the name of the, of the town, but uh, I was with Blue Origin and, and uh, flew into space uh, from Texas. I've had a great time in Texas, and I'm looking forward uh, to coming to, uh, to, the, uh, to Midland and to Lubbock and to Sugarland and to Austin. Those are the places I'm coming uh, to entertain, and I'm looking forward to meeting uh, those members of your audience that uh, are hearing my voice and decide to come to uh, those theaters there, especially since we're talking uh, in uh, your your city, uh, it's the um, it's the financial center in Sugarland. Yes, the Smart Financial Center, great venue, great crowds go out there. So make sure you check out William Shatner live. Why? Uh, why do you think you said the Wrath of Khan? At all the Star Trek movies that have been done, has been the one that has literally stood the test of time. It's most people's favorite. When you ask them, what was it about that film that connected to audiences even to this day? Well, it's a it's a very emotional movie. You know, I I went to see a new movie last night. Uh, it's uh, it my son-in-law directed it, and. The key thing uh, about his movie and about the movie The Wrath of Khan is an, emotion, an emotional identification. I think audiences respond to what's going on. There are, there are some special effects, but Star Trek 